Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Noah here, back with another video, and today I will be teaching you three different cardistry moves. Here we go. Okay, so the first one is the riffle fan, and I will say down in the um, description who created it. Um, I think his name was Dimitri who created it, and I'm going to try to teach you it right now. Um, here we go. So, what it looks like is this. You just go that, and it makes a fan, like that. Um, now, it's, it's, it's pretty complex, and I still can't do it perfectly yet, but it's, I can do it pretty well. So, what you're going to start off by doing is you're going to you're gonna hold it in this grip. So you're gonna have your index finger turned to where like your nail is on the cards right there, you can see. You're gonna put your thumb on top and then this finger right here is gonna go right here on the deck, okay? That finger's gonna go there, okay? This finger is gonna go like this. You're gonna grab on with your thumb and you're gonna riffle like this and what you're gonna do is you're gonna let go with these fingers when it gets to this point, see? That point with the cards. You're gonna let go of that part and it'll make the fan. And um, I would advise when you're starting off, use like a like a deck of cards that's semi-new but you're fine with dropping on the floor. Like these, I'm not okay with dropping on the floor because they're new, you know? So like, um, yeah. Um, let's see, so you put your finger right there and then, like I said, when you get here, you clear your fingers and pull them back. And a really cool thing you can do is you can just do this. You can go, you can riffle fan like this and then pull your hand back like that and be like, wow. And it's kind of hard to do it like this, but you can do it like this. You can go like, like that and like do it from like this angle and you're doing the same grip. You're putting your finger right here and this finger right here and you're gonna go like that. And it makes like a fan. It's hard to get like it to go curved up. Uh, let me see if I can show you the angle of what I'm trying to talk about with the riff fan. This finger goes here, right? On the edge, the right edge. Uh, you're gonna hold it with your left hand. Start off in dealer's grip. Then take your index finger, place it right here. And then have this thumb place it on the left hand side of the um, cards. And then you're gonna riffle that up, just practice riffling that. And a good thing you can try doing is just um, by riffling like down like this, let me show you. Let me, uh, it's like you just do like that. Let me show you what I mean. Like you're not doing a dribble, but you're doing like a sideways like that. And that helps. You're gonna hold here, finger right here on the left hand side, then this finger on the right hand side. Underneath, you're gonna put your thumb here, okay? and you're going to riffle like that, okay? And it's pretty self-working. It's still hard to do, but it's it's a pretty good way to present the cards and I think you guys will like learning it. Let me show you again, one more time. Put your finger on the left-hand side, this finger, index finger on the right-hand side, thumb right here, riffle, and then once it clears these fingers, you can just put your fingers there and it's good to go. And it's pretty good. Uh, you first might see like an egg shape. I'm gonna show you what I mean, like that kind of thing. But what happens is what you're doing is I think you're putting it at too much of an angle. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this up maybe a quarter of an inch and then this turn like this and it'll make it go really good. Let me show you. So like it, it depends like how big your fingers are. So like you might have to practice a little bit and just see what your most comfortable is, um, grip is. Okay, that's the first one. It's called the Ruffle Fan. Let me show you what it is again. One more time. Fan, just like that. And it's way better than just going, that's boring, you know. Uh, a few things you can do with it is you can go like this, Ruffle Fan, and then you can show the cards and be like, okay, pick a card now, or something like that. Pick a card. Um, yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you something called the Worm, okay? And what it is, is it looks something like this. That. And this is actually not that hard. What you're gonna start with do by doing is you're gonna go, 
you're going to take your fingers and you're going to lift up a packet of the cards, maybe about one fourth of the cards. This, and then you're going to, on with your thumb, lift up about another one for, or like one third of the cards, like this. And all you're going to do is you're going to turn your hand, this, swivel this, so you can easily swivel that. Swivel your hand like this, and then it'll create this cool shape. Then you're going to take your index finger and push this card down and let it swivel off this finger right here. Swivel it down, okay? You're going to grab the cards with your pinky, and then you can do this cool shape thingy. And you can start in there, or you can do this. You can go here, and then you can push another card, swivel it like this, and then go into five shape, like that. I accidentally dropped a card, that's fine. <laughs> and you just go here, 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 like this. And then swivel another card out, show five, and then do this. And that's actually kind of a cool two shape. I never noticed that. That's pretty cool. And then all you have to do is push this down, swivel this back, and you're back into deck position and you can continue your, your routine. Next is the one-handed cut. And this is what it looks like. That. I'm not positive who created it, but it's really good. What you're going to start by doing is you're going to do this. It's kind of like this, but it's from this side. So let me show you. You're going to go here, drop about half the cards. So look, half. You're going to grab the cards with your index finger, hold, let your pinky fall out, and then use your thumb to push this up. And sometimes this bottom card might get stuck, but sometimes it won't. I, most of the time it doesn't. It just You just have to let it pass. So you go, you lift half the cards, let your pinky pass this, grab this part with your two fingers, your middle finger and your index finger, and then take your last finger and place it right between the two packets like this. Let me show you. See? Then you're going to pull with your thumb up like this, and you're just going to push this down with your fingers and let it slide like this. And that's, that's it. That's literally it. You just... Let the cards fall like this, grab with your finger, take your thumb, push this up, and see, the card got stuck there. That's fine. If you're wanting to go for a cut, it doesn't matter. If you're looking to do, like, a cut and then a pinky hold and then cut there to do a fake cut, then then that's a problem. But it doesn't really matter if you're doing an actual cut with your one hand and just want to show somebody the trick. It's pretty cool. Um, now, let's see. Let me show you one more time. So you go here, drop about half the cards. Then you're going to take your pinky and you're going to, let's see, watch here, here. And this is the what it looks like from this angle. You're going to let it come over. And sometimes the cards will swivel off and I'm trying to figure out like that. Yeah, that's a good one. Do this. Bam. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I think next video I'm going to try to teach uh, this, the dribble, that, and the card spring. That. Um, they're pretty easy too. And I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Maybe I'll do a gaming video next time. I don't know. See you guys.